This is a world-class airline pilot, and this is me, your average passenger. And today, me and my friend Chris are gonna be attempting to land a massive commercial jet with no experience. You see, ever since I was a little kid, I've been terrified of flying. And every time I board a plane, I can't help but think to myself, what if the pilot passed out, had a heart attack, or worse, found out his girlfriend was having twins? Then what? Could I, a regular passenger, land the plane and save everyone on board? I, on the other hand, love flying. So I've created four extreme landing challenges for Zane to complete that are designed to help him get over his fear of flying. Starting with the easiest one, landing a plane in GTA 5. Here's the controller go. Honestly, I'm confident in this one. Zane, even an eight year old could do this if you don't land this plane. Money, baby. Honestly, though, I could have done it smoother. No more tries. Let's go. Okay, so we have three challenges left, and the goal by the end of today is to get you into the cockpit of a commercial airliner, land it, and overcome your fear of flying. Question is, do you think you can do it? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! Honestly? Yeah. No. No. If someone puts me behind the seat of a pilot, dude, that is going down. You have no idea where we're going to right now, do you? No. So, as you know, we're going to be flying out to Colorado to do a video with Matthew Beam pretty soon. Don't remind me because I freaking hate planes. And I know that you're trying to get over your fear of flying. Right. What if I had something planned to help you get over that fear? Chris, <laughs> you have planned, bro. I can't tell you. Okay. Uh, peace. Well, we're here. Are you ready? Not really. In this challenge, you're going to be tasked with landing a plane in one of my favorite games of all time. What? Microsoft Flight Simulator. But what Zane doesn't know is that I rented out an entire movie theater for him to play it on. I'm like scared. Are you ready? Yeah. No. Bro, what? Chris, you're a fucking maniac, dude. What the heck? Wait, do we have this all to ourselves? Yeah. No way, I dude. What? <laughs> Okay, look, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. This ain't no kid's game. Every single control in these planes works. You hit the red button, you die. You hit the yellow button, you crash into the Andes. Your goal right now, to land this plane. Oh, dude, what the frick? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, what's going on? What was... What? How did I crash already, dude? Okay, I'm gonna give that one a pass. You can't crash in the middle of the air. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That big open patch of grass. I'm, a I'm actually kind of good at this. Oh, is that the landing strip right there? Is that no, it right there? Yo, that is not how you land a plane, Zane. Wait. <laughs> how do I slow down? How do I slow down? Oh, 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 I'm bouncing. Oh, oh dude, I was so close. Okay, I'm going again. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, I actually might get this. How do I turn my engine off? I'm, I'm on the ground, Chris. Bro, that just flipped my plane, dude. And even though we were having tons of fun, it was time to move on to the next challenge. Earlier, you creamed the landing in GTA 5. Crushed it. You crashed in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right, I did. What are your <laughs> predictions for the next landing? Um, say Chris, say Chris, say Chris. I'm not feeling too confident. And that is not what I wanted to hear because not only do I love planes, but it's been a dream of mine to get my pilot's license so we can one day fly around the country making YouTube videos with our friends at lightning speeds. So if by the end of the day, Zane doesn't get over fear of flying, my dreams of flying around the country with my best friend will be crushed. And that's where Charlie comes in. I'm Charlie, Charlie Crooks. Charlie is a master pilot and at only 23 years old, he has his commercial pilot's license, single engine and multi-engine rating, instrument rating, flight instructor certification, and instrument flight instructor certification. Some would say he's cracked at flying. And it's my hope that his expertise and confidence will coax Zane into the idea that planes are fun and safe. Oh my God, dude, what? So yeah, this here is something we call an aviation training device. Right now it's uh, for our fastest, high-performing, multi-engine airplane gear. How much does something like this cost? Yes. <laughs> and by yes, he means a fully decked out simulator like this runs for about $70,000. Just this controller here, it makes you feel sort of the forces, the winds, etc. This right. thing here is like a multi-thousand dollar device. Just to get this straight, this simulates like an actual plane. Yes. And not only does every lever, gauge, button, nipple, and gizmo squawk on this bad boy, but because it's a training simulator, it does stuff like this. I can control the weather, visibility, clouds. I can make engines fail, circuit breakers pop, instruments go dead. I can do all kinds of neat Little things like that. Okay, so you are you're essentially God. I have creative. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna take off, possibly have a heart attack, and then uh, let Zane over here show me what he's made of. <laughs> and what better place to let an unqualified passenger attempt to land a plane than New York City? I don't know if I'll be able to achieve this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try. You feel I'm good try? though? Yeah, I feel I good. Don't. In fact, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Use the aviator. I got him. Jesus. I'm taking over. What is going on? I got to land this. Can I land in a field? Is that possible? The airport would be better. Well, I think that's it. Bro, that could be a freaking McDonald's headquarters for all we know. Oh, wait. Is that an airport too? Screw it. Oh, I got this. Why is it doing that? You're drifting. How do I slow down? <laughs> oh, shit. Chris. Chris. I got this. Jesus Christ. How do I? Oh. Did we die? Did 
Did we die? I mean, I probably got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it like a four out of 10. Would you say that your anxiety around flying has diminished? No. Oh, you don't like planes? Nope, don't like planes. And you would think at this point that I would just give up, but what Zane doesn't know is that throughout the past three challenges, I've been hiding from him the one gem that any passenger could use to successfully land a plane. And that gem is called ATC, but more on that later. This is it, this is the last challenge. You started today with one good landing and two really bad landings. And in a few seconds, you're about to climb into the cockpit of a gigantic plane and hopefully land it to safety. One out of 10, what's your confidence level right Right now do like a like a two okay all i know is that it's gonna be bigger than the last okay i'll say this if you can land this your anxiety should be gone bro i crashed with charlie yeah but i didn't want to risk giving away my secret so we headed over to the monster of all flight simulators a ginormous machine i call Big Daddy. Whoa. This $15 million flight simulator is an exact replica of a Boeing 737 passenger plane. Not only does it do everything that Charlie's simulator did, but it sits on eight hydraulic actuators that are so realistic that you can feel the bumps on the pavement as you taxi to the runway. And not only that, but it's so accurate that the Federal Aviation Administration counts it as actual flight time. Oh, and it simulates takeoffs, landings, and crashes. Delta does not use airplanes for training anybody. All the training is done in flight simulators. Mm -hmm. The first time you fly the plane you got folks with you oh my god <laughs> dude i'm gonna be honest if i crash this plane dude i'm never flying on another plane ever again and I will forever be scared of flights. And that's when I told Zane about a text my mom sent me about two weeks ago. Told me there's this girl, Evelyn Grace. Apparently she's nine years old and sneaks yeah. our videos from her parents. Probably because we swear <laughs> a lot. At the end of the day, like we're doing this for people like that. Whether you crash it or not, we still come out with great content for Evelyn. Even if I have to drag you onto a plane every time we travel, <laughs> are you ready? No, but I'm gonna do this for Evelyn. And with Zane putting his fears to the side, it was finally time to find out if it's actually possible for a passenger to land a plane. Dude, this is like an alien spacecraft. And flying us to the point of no return is our flight instructor, Michael. So if I get over here. Oh, oh my God, oh, bro, it feels just like a plane. Oh, oh my. Please. Michael, you do this every day of your life? Well, two or three days a week. Oh my God. Is this what actual pilots see? Uh, oh, like, wow, yeah. It's terrible. What is that? M Michael, what was that? Well, and after that, everything seemed to be going just fine. Until Michael decided to win an Oscar for best cardiac arrest. Oh, 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 oh Michael! Oh. Michael! Michael's having a heart attack! Heck? Michael, are you okay? Oh, he's dead! Okay, oh. wait, wait, wait. One thing I forgot to tell you. What? If this were to happen, we could call the people in air traffic control and they could walk us through how to land the plane. And that's what ATC stands for. And so replacing air traffic control today is going to be the guy who just passed out. Uh, Michael, tell me how to land this thing. Delta on two, make a left turn. We're heading up 080. I don't know what that means. Oh no, it's heading. This little knob. Michael, where's the airport? Do you find that heading we gave you? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, not. So how do I do that? We need you to come right to a heading of uh, 120. Okay. 120. Oh, I get it now. Ah. I get it now. Am I doing good, Michael? No, I'm fine. runways out there. I don't. I don't see the runways. Am I tripping? Oh, I oh, see him! I, I see him! Dude, they're right there! Let's go, dude. I got this. I've seen this in a YouTube video. The one that looks like a wheel. Speed, speed brake. Speed brake. Ah! to five. Flops to five. Oh, oh, right here. Flaps. Okay, now what? Flaps to 30. Flaps are going to 30. Flaps to 30. Getting closer. Oh, dude, this, this feels insane, dude. Oh, my. We're coming in hot. ATC, is this cool? Put your flaps to 40. Sink rate. 40. What is that? Oh, my mean? God. Oh, my God. Pull up. I'm trying. Pull the throttles back. 30. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Holy crap, dude. Oh, we're bouncing! Call the speed brake! We did! did you I just landed a plane! I did it! Yeah! Oh, high five! Bro! Dude, that we was did it. sick! Michael, thank you, bro. Thank you. And although we proved a passenger could land a plane, there was just one teensy weensy thing I had to make sure of. Okay. Yeah? So, now that you've landed a plane, are you still afraid of flying? No, not really anymore. Okay, that's good. Because we're taking off in about five minutes. No, bro, chill. You're lying. Bro. I need you to prove yourself, Zane. Getting a personal plane is a massive investment, and I can't take that chance if my buddy old pal is not going to join me up in the clouds. Ah, oh, dude. Take the oath. Take the oath. Ah, get out of the no. plane! Now we're going to see if you were being honest, Zane. Are you ready? No. Oh, my God, dude. How, how do you feel? 
So, I have to ask, are you genuinely not afraid of planes anymore? I'm less afraid of planes than the time we went on the trip to Puerto Rico. So little planes aren't so scary. I would probably have to agree with you.